There are a lot of exciting things happening in Northside, so here's a quick roundup from the last few weeks. Congratulations to Northside's 2012 Educators of the Year. Over two nights at Marshall High School, 112 teachers were recognized as their Campus Educator of the Year. Four district winners were also announced. The Elementary Educator of the Year is Barbara Perkheiser, a second grade teacher at Gallum Elementary School. Our Middle School Educator of the Year is Teresa Heim, an avid coordinator and reading teacher at Connolly Middle School. The High School Educator of the Year is Cynthia Barrett, a Spanish teacher at O'Connor High School. Finally, the district's nominee for the Trinity Prize for Excellence in Teaching is Melinda Valdez, a kindergarten teacher at Steubing Elementary School. Congratulations to all of this year's honorees. The HEB Prize Patrol is back, celebrating the best teachers and principals in Texas with their annual Excellence in Education Awards. This year, Northside has a teacher finalist in the leadership category for teachers with 10 to 20 years of experience. But shh, it's a surprise. Dr. Folks is speaking to the Communication Arts High School freshman class and teachers, but instead of talking about end of course exams, he calls on some special visitors. They are looking for pre-AP English 1 teacher Emily Swoboda. We're here today to let her know that she has been selected as a statewide finalist in the 2012 HEB Excellence in Education Awards. So we're going to present you with this giant check for $1,000. <laughs> this is Emily's eighth year teaching at Communication Arts, and she credits her students with helping her grow as an educator. It's nice to be recognized, of course, and I do it for the recognition. You know, seeing how the students grow being a freshman teacher and seeing them over the next three years and seeing them once they go to college and come back, that's really where I see success. When they come back and just say, this is what I'm doing now and you know, I, I hope that I have some sort of part in that as far as their successes go. So, you know, I certainly don't do it for any kind of recognition. I, I work hard because I think I should and the students need it, but this is certainly um, an honor and a surprise. As a finalist, Emily has also won $1,000 for her school. When the statewide winners are announced in May, she could win an additional $10,000 for herself and $10,000 for her school. Los Reyes Elementary School is the only school opening in Northside next August, and Kathy Gorshi is the school's first principal. Kathy, Dr. Folks, and board president Karen Freeman recently took an official tour inside the school. It is the most beautiful school I've ever seen. It's just missing the kids and the staff, and I can't wait to have the opportunity to come in here and to have it filled up. Though the hallways and classrooms look empty now, the spacious and state-of-the-art facility is sure to impress. The group's tour took them all over the two-story school, including the front office, the mechanical rooms, and the cafeteria and gym. One highlight was a stop in the library, where muralist Natalie Adams was in the midst of creating a Texas-themed mural and seating area. I just want to get into the building and get going. The first day of school is August 27, 2012. By then, the incoming students will have selected school colors and a mascot. There's plenty of excitement in store for Los Reyes Elementary School. The Valero Go Kids Challenge encourages children to develop healthy habits, like staying active and drinking water. The 2012 event kickoff at Carnahan Elementary School was a sight to see. All 650 students and many of their teachers performed a high energy dance routine to a popular song. What made it really special was that a lot of kids heard about this song and liked it, so it really motivated them to do it. They're off to a great start. Participating students pledge to be active for 60 minutes, six days a week. And when they wear a special wristband, students will receive a free bottle of water at Valero Corner Stores during the eight-week challenge. What I hope is that it is long enough that they start developing those habits and helping their parents develop those healthy habits of exercise can be fun. It's not like, oh no, I need to go to the gym. It's going outside and playing and swimming and, you know, going to the wonderful parks that we have in the area. But I want our kids to get in the habit and I want them to encourage their families and hopefully it will become a family activity of phys physical fitness. Two professional athletes and several community leaders spoke to students about the importance of a healthy lifestyle. This is the ninth year for the Go Kids Challenge, which was created by San Antonio Sports. That's all for now. Be sure to let us know what's going on at your school. Send us an email to news at nisd.net. 
see you next time for more Northside Video Moments.